Hey guys, welcome back to another basics game maker studio tutorial and let's make the hovering effect the easiest, easiest, easiest way possible. So before that, I already did this with an ease function. So if you're thinking, wait a minute, I already saw that. Yeah, we're going to make this even easier because then you don't need to download anything. You need, don't need to do anything. Of course, ease function is a little bit more comfortable. In my opinion, you can customize it more, but if you just want to have it quick, quick and very, very quick, we can do this. So let's peek inside. So basically what you need is now this and this one we're gonna kill also hey <laughs> so we don't need all that kind of stuff we just need a timer we're just running down and then we just say y equals two and then plus xenos this thing which is running down then we have a uh, which we call a frequency and an amplitude and then basically this is it of course let's go and recreate that thing once again so you see it step by step so the first thing we, we need to understand so if you already wanted to have the cheat code, that was it, <laughs> nothing more. So basically we have a start point, so somewhere which is our Y value. And then we just say, hey, our start Y value plus or minus, depending where you want to go it, uh, minus then upwards and plus downwards. And then we just say like, hey, we use the sinus function. And this is hopefully you remember that from school. That is this thing which we have been tortured at least me i was tortured quite a lot in that in school and i thought this was completely useless and most of the time it actually is so basically uh, this is the sinus function and then it started zero then goes up and then it goes down and then we have here 180 degrees and boom and then it goes downwards in minus versions and then boom it's going upwards and then well for infinity we are doing this kind of thing and therefore we can utilize the Zenus function and bam we just have need to have a parameter which we input here so we have that thing going for infinity and this is pretty much the whole theory so uh, here we have our timer we set it to zero so just one variable boom which we need here and then we're gonna run this timer down so timer plus plus here we go and then we just say like, hey, our y is equal to our start y value and then plus um, these values which are going to use or recreate this hovering. So Xenos, then we need to input a tooltip, come on, a radiant angle. And for that, we can instantly input our timer. Of course, here, this will jigger quite a lot. So for example, if we do it like this. We have something like this and this is of course not looking good so we kind of fine tune it with two values so here this is the value which we input for the frequency so how long let's say one cycle goes up and down and therefore i don't know let's go for 0 0.0.3 0 .0 something like this so it goes quite long and then we want to have kind of the mag magnitude of how much actually we want to invert because this will always return a value between one to minus one so these are small so therefore if you want to have the movement a little bit uh, bigger then we input here and this is technically called then an amplitude then we go for 0 0.5 or something just need to you need to understand that these kind of values are interdependent so the longer the thing needs so the more here this will have an impact so basically here it will make a bigger movement overall so therefore the more time you need then it's better than to have this value getting smaller and smaller also but here of course here just to see the in the inter interdependency and this is pretty much it that was the whole magic under five minutes sweet Alrighty, that was it from my side of course uh, if you liked it subscribe share and like Alrighty, that was it from my side have a good one one up indie